Bertolini in the house. How is everybody today? I am so excited to be on. This is finally part two to the video that got messed up last week. Uh, most of you remember I came live, I was starting to do a full look, and it's cut off at 11 minutes in, so you only got to see the foundation part, and the concealer, like I did a two foundation look, the lighter in the center, darker on the outer, and then I went into a full glam look, except it wasn't recording that entire time, but I thought it was recording, and most of you messaged and said, hey, where's, where's the makeup part you got cut off? And I was so mad. So as promised, this is part two. So because it's part two, I just came on with my foundation already done, and we're gonna get into doing the color part. So to save time, I'm gonna get going with this look because most of you are gonna be replay watchers. When you are here live with me, please drop me a one in the comments. How do you know you're live? You're gonna see that red box at the top of the screen. It's red, it says live. That means you are here with me right now, which means you are lucky because you get to ask me any questions that you want and I'm here to answer you. If you are a replay watcher, drop me a two in the comments so I know what time you hopped on to come see this. So I kind of know when is a good time. But today this time is good for me because I have lots of errands to run. So give me those ones when you are here live, say hello, tell me where you are from, and let me know if it's nice out today. It's beautiful here, beautiful, sunny fall day. Hello, Dolores, how are you today? Um, and if you're new to watching me, I wanna know where you're tuning in from. Please feel free to click share down below because I'm always giving value and you're going to help uh, brighten someone else's day. So we're all about sharing the love. And, uh, and, I, and if you never want to miss a makeup lesson, tap on my face, just tap the screen, maybe right here, tap my nose and you can't miss it. It's a big nose. And you will see the follow button on the lower right hand corner. When you tap follow, you'll never miss me live. So there's my beginning spiel. I'm Candace Bertolini. For those of you that are new to watching me, I have two small children at home and I love bringing you the everyday tips and tricks. How do I know how to teach you these things? Well, I have the credentials to prove it. I am a professional makeup artist with over 11 years of experience. So I've touched every single skin type, color, tone, age, you name it. And I break down the crazy things that you see on Instagram and YouTube and I break it down for the easy everyday things that are realistic to life. Most of you are stay-at-home moms, you're busy, you don't got time, you just wanna look fresh-faced. Some of you have busy careers, you're up early in the morning, you gotta get in and out of the house. Some of you are just makeup illiterate, you don't even know what to do, so I break it down easy breezy so you can get it done. How's that sound? And if you're over 40, I show you how to take years off your face, look younger, not look your age with simple hacks. So if that's what you're into, make sure that you tap the screen to hit follow and you'll see the follow on the lower right. Let's get going. Hi, Lena. Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, Dolores. Oh, I'm glad you guys are on with me. Um, yep, so as you guys are jumping on, give me your ones down below. And I'm gonna start. So this is part two to the video from last week. I came on already with foundation and concealer. Um, I use two foundations. I use a lighter one all over the face and then I use a darker one on the outer perimeter to kind of give that nice um, balance to the skin. You don't want one monotone flat face. That's just unrealistic. It's pasty looking, it ages you. So if you want youth in your skin, hi Erin, how are you? Thank you for sharing, Dolores. Thank you so much. I feel like you're my only sharer, I love you. Um, if you want that dimension to your face and have color in life, hi Stacy then you definitely want to go into a darker foundation on the outer perimeter and just kind of halo it here. And that kind of gives you that healthy glow, just that. And I have some brow powder on and obviously I got my lashes done yesterday. So if this is what you're into, then um, that's all you need to do. But now we're gonna get into the color part. And I'm so happy to redo this part for you guys because, let me put on some lip balm, my lips are really dry. Because um, I feel like it's so easy that even a seven year old can do it. Most of it's done with your fingers. I feel like it makes you look youthful, glowy, but not glittery. So if you're looking for youthful, if you're looking to look younger, then stay tuned, keep watching, because that's what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put on a base on my eye. I always love to start with a transition color. And I like to usually play it off with what I'm wearing. So today I got my lip shirt on, my lips, my lipstick shirts, love it. Thank you, Stacy. you're the bomb. Thank you for sharing. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go into this blushy color. This is called Blush Hour, and I'm using a long blender brush. This is just for a, tra uh, a transition color. You always wanna use a transition color. I just got done with a one-on-one -on -one here. Uh, makeup lesson. Somebody reached out to me, said, I've been watching your videos. I want to get that stuff in my hands. I want to try it and feel it. Can I come over? This was yesterday. I said, hey, I'm free tomorrow. She said, so am I. She came over. We did a mini makeup lesson. She loved it. She got everything. And even on her, we did a transi transition color and she saw the difference of a transition color. So you take a very little bit. This is pro, uh, pro brand, a professional brand eyeshadow. You can use whatever eyeshadow you that, that you have at home, but I like using pro pigment because it's highly pigmented and a little goes a long way and it's easier to blend. So it's not loaded with all those fillers. And you always take a transition color, whether if it's like a nude, a taupe, it, not a taupe, that's the wrong word. It should always be like a blushy color or a skin color, a shade darker than your skin. And this is going to give you the illusion of a bigger eyelid. It's going to give a nice base. And I'm just kind of, nothing fancy, just kind of brushing it all over the place. The longer the brush hair, the softer and the look will look and the more blendability you will get. You don't want to use a short packed hairbrush for this type of thing when you're doing a transition. You want it to be very soft and eerie and look almost barely there. So that's the tip. So again, you just tap into the eyeshadow just that little bit. You notice I didn't rub. So those cheap eyeshadows that you get in the drugstores, you have to really lather your brush around in it because it's loaded with fillers. So honestly, you think you're getting cheaper, but you're not because you got to keep buying it. You got to keep buying it because you're using it so fast and so much that you end up spending more than what a professional product would cost you. So I know we think we're getting cheaper, kind of like when you buy cheap toilet paper. You're using so much toilet paper that you're buying more rolls of toilet paper than the person that is buying the like double ply thick cotton because you only need a little. So concentrated is always better. Hi, Brittany. Hey, hey, girl. So there is the light transition color. I'm going to bump it up with a little bit of this nude color right here, maybe a little bit lower. Again, this look. What I'm doing right now is just a base to give me definition because I want to have the illusion of a bigger eye because I have hooded eye. Hooded eye is that flab skin that hangs down. So I'm just kind of putting it in there so when I sit back, already I gave myself an illusion of a bigger eyelid instead of bringing attention to the flabby skin that is on the eyelid. So true, love lime life. Lime life's the best. If you're not living the lime life, I don't know what life you're living. I just made that up. All right, so now here's the easy part. For this look, you're going to jump to your cream highlighter palette. When you work with creams, anything, it's very age appropriate because it's dewier, it's, it's fresher, it gives you more of a glow. It's not glitter, um, dry, like powders all over the face. Mm -mm, going to age you. If you're that built bare minerals wearer or compact pressed powder, like all that powder stuff is just enhancing your wrinkles. You want to use creamy, dewy, and then set translucent powder in the areas that you don't want to look oily, but leave other areas in your face glowy. So that's what we're going for is glowy, not glittery. So because I have on these like rosy pink colors, I'm going to take this color right here. I'm going to go with the darker one right here. See how pretty that is? It's probably like looking a little frosty in the uh, light, but it's not frosty at all. So we have that dimension there. So I'm going to just sweep this on the lid. And you are seeing this look all over the internet. This is like what is in right now is having metallic lids, which this isn't metallic eyeshadow. Again, this is a cream highlighter or like glowy lids and like a bold lip. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to play with some color. So all I did was just kind of sweep that on the lids. Now we're going to bump up to this shade, which is very pretty. It's like a nice rose. And we're going to put that in the center and this in the center. And my after picture to this is on my main Facebook page already. And I got so many messages of what did you use? I need that palette. And this you can use for lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, your, just your highlighter on your cheekbone, everything. So now I'm going to take this nice gold color. It's like a, a sheer gold. And I'm just going to tap that in the center. So you got like that line going down the center. Because remember, we want illusions. We want illusions, so when you're moving at any which way, it's just 
stunning and not metallic-y or glittery. So this is very, very youthful looking. Then you're gonna go back into the pinkyish color. So I would say this one right here, and you're gonna smile and just hit the apples of your cheeks like this. You're gonna get this side and then we'll blend it out. So remember, I already have my two foundations on for dimension, but now we're just using this as like my cream blush. And I'm gonna to switch to a clean finger and blend that out. And you're just keeping that right here on the apples of the cheeks. This makes it like that, like you were out, you did a nice workout and you got that flush in the face or you're out in the snow and you're cold. Like this is what we want with that flirty, innocent, glowy look. You're gonna go back into that gold that we put in the center of the eye and just tap that in this area to open up the eye and just really give you that, that pretty glow. This is great if you're going to a holiday party um, or it's great if you have really beady eyelids or crepey eyelids and you feel like you don't look good with eyeshadow and you want to brighten up the eye, then the whole thing is to pull, is to brighten up the lip. Like you go bold with the lip and you go very nude and gorgeous with these colors and a lot of mascara. Obviously I'm not going to do the mascara because I have lash extensions on, so I get to skip that part. Okay. So now what you do is you stop right there and you're going to um, take a matte bronzer because now we don't want any more glow. We're going to stop at the glow right there because this isn't a frosty face. Okay. So we're going to take this. Remember when you're on, I see you guys jumping on, say hi, don't be shy. Don't be not watching, stalking and not telling me you're on here. I see you're on here. Give me your one. Let me know that you're here live with me. So I'm going to take the translucent setting powder and just mat out the areas of the face that I don't want shiny because I want to make this stand out as like that glow, but I want the center of like the T-zone to be met with the translucent setting powder. Hi, Amanda. How are you? All right. Now I'm going to grab the bronzer. I'm loving, loving, loving the matte bronzer palette. It's right here. So I'm going to use number three. That's probably about the shade I am now. Maybe this is two. Where am I? I'm going backwards. This is two. This is three. This is four. So I would probably, nah, it's too dark. I'm going to go with three. So I'm going to go into three, just tap it. Remember when working with pro pigment, you only need to tap. That's it. And now I'm going to contour a little bit all around this area to give balance to the glowy color. Does that make sense? And I'm going to go to a clean brush, just like this, and blend everything in, make it nice and soft. That's very, very pretty. And then you want to take some matte eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into number 41, and this is matte because I want to offset the glow. So you're going to put this matte, it could be like a bone color, a nude color, a pinky color, as long as it's matte, you want to put, bring balance to that sheen. That's the right word I'm looking for, a sheen. You want to bring balance to that sheen that is on the lower eye part and just tap in this nude bone color like right there, right there. And then to really make everything pop, we're going to go in with the concealer. I'm going to use number, number two, actually number zero. I'm going to go into number zero and really just brighten up the whole face, warm it up with my concealer, bring out the eye in here, clean up this way. You know I always like to do this at the end. This kind of makes everything come together. It's almost like your magic eraser, right? Or like your uh, whiteout pen, right? And I just kind of tap that in. The bronzer that I use is number three, Denise. It comes in um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven now, and I use number three. You'd be the same, you, or one under me. I mean, you're probably like the same shade as me. I'm pretty pale right now. Um, and then, so then you just tap this part in, and then wherever you feel like you need to camouflage, like around the nose, if you're like wiping your nose a lot, around the mouth, okay. All right, so now that we have the eyes brightened up. Now we're going to set that with powder just because you don't want that to crease. So you're going to set that with the translucent setting powder. So see how like that makes a nice difference? Just like that. 
This is a great day look, great soft look. So now you're gonna hear a moment of silence because I have to put on lip liner. This is number seven. So this is what makes the whole lip. This is gonna be an ombre lip. Who's ever wanted to see how to do an ombre lip? Say me, because you're about to see it. All right, so let me just draw the line. This is more so that I don't fall out of the line. I'm gonna do like cute lips, oh. And I'm going slightly above my natural line because I want the illusion of a bigger lip, okay? Because I have no top lip and I want the illusion of a bigger lip. Hello, hello. Make sure you guys say hi, drop me your ones. All right. Connect that to that. So that's how you do your lip liner. You do your Cupid's bow and then you come from the outer and meet inside, okay? Now we have a, like a nice line. I went slightly outside of the natural line. So now we're gonna take Berry Cocoa, okay? So I'm taking the darker one. So you could do this with any two shades. And I like this because it's an angled wand so you can use the tip, you turn it this way to do like a lip liner and then you turn it flat when you wanna fill it in, okay? I'm just gonna put a little bit, because a little bit goes a long way. Now I'm gonna spot touch. And this looks super dark right now. But if you're doing such a nude eye, I'm telling you, the dark lip won't look so dark. It's a very, it could be a very classy, sexy look. I personally don't like doing dark eyes and dark lips. So now, now that you have your darker one, this is very pretty, very goth to me, but I, I think it's very pretty, especially if your hair is like, the, like you got the right outfit on. Now I'm gonna go to creme brulee. You go to your light color. So Denise, I go to Sarah Nails in Brantford Center. I see Mia, she's the best lash artist. I've never had a problem and I get volume lashing. I have her do lots of volume versus length. I say I don't want them too long, but I want a lot of volume. So let me zoom in. She did, she's great. So you take your lighter color and you get the center of the lip and you, you do it a little at a time. See how I'm doing that? So now, you got that ombre lip. There we go. So then you take this time setter spray. This is what makes it all come together. It just makes everything like meld into your face where it's like locks it in like a shield. You gotta shake it up though. So now I'm gonna come in, look at the eyes. Do you see the dimension in the three different shades? And then this cheek has that nice, healthy glow. You can pump it up by taking some blush. Like maybe I would go into a matte blush if you wanted to get a little bit more color because I wanted the rosiness. But you can go into number one and just tap in a matte. So the whole thing is playing with mattes and sheen. So again, I like that word better. You put sheen and mats. You put the sheen in certain areas and then, you and then you put the mats in the opposite areas. And that's the way that you rock this look. So see, and I'm gonna blend this in. I love this fan brush because you can contour with it, you can sweep with it, or you can blend with it. So if you get that little bit of blush on there like this, now you have more of that rosy cheek, right? And then you can go back into your cream highlighter palette. I'm telling you, you can do so much with this with this palette. Um, so if I went into this rosy one, uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna. Go. Yeah, I like that. And go back. So if you did the blush first and then went over with the rose, that's very pretty. What do you think? What do you guys think? Tell me if you like it or not. Thumbs up. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I won't. You won't hurt my feelings. Then we're gonna take this gold and go back. So this is like, like I taught the girl who did, who I did the one-on-one -on -one today. I said, you add and then you set back and you look. You look where you need stuff. 
right? If you need a little pump up here, add a little bit more gold. The whole point of putting on that before eyeshadow is to have that contrast to the matte and give something for the cream to stick to, otherwise it'll probably end up creasing, okay? Could pop some to the inner corner, but the sky is the limit with this. You could, I don't wanna ruin my lip, um, but you could take one of these colors and make it metallic, like a little bit metallic. I'm, I'll show you, I don't care what I look like after this. Okay, ready? So this is the ombre lip. So now you guys got the look. That's why I'm going slow motion, right? The mix of the mattes, the ombre lip. All right, so now if you take that color, look at that. See how you can like take your matte lipstick and, and turn them into metallic? Same thing if you took an eyeshadow. Let's say, let me just take a, a boring brown, brown color, right? So if you have like a boring, let me just get this on here. You really get your, your brown eyeshadow on your lid. And then let's say you go into this rusty color. Think of like for fall, like that would look beautiful on your lips. Beautiful on your lips, beautiful on the eye. But if you tapped over, look, the sun's out. The sun is like beaming. Look at that color that you get. You see that? So this palette you can do so much with. I even loved, I don't want to ruin my eye. Maybe I'll do it another day. That whole J-Lo look. If you take that color, that color, or I'm sorry, that color right there, and sweep it on your bottom lid. That is like a hot color right now. I think that's the one I wanted to go in. I think I went into the wrong color because of the whole, there it is. See that? Look at those colors over a, over a matte eyeshadow. So look at this as like, oh my God, hundreds of looks, okay? But we can be here all day. This is supposed to be a fast video. Give myself another spray. Hope you guys learned a tip or a trick. This is part two to the blooper from last week. Now you learned how to do an ombre lip. No, you don't have to go this dark. You can do your two versions, but that's how you do it. I am Candace Bertolini and I am your makeup fix. Don't forget to tell me if you're a replay watcher. Drop me your two in the comments and share this video if you got any value. Bye everybody.